Penrith Leisure Centre is now home to a new camera system in the Eden Bowls Club. The four overhead cameras link directly to a flat screen TV that displays the far side of the rink. And members of the club are pleased with the installation. We've been trying to get it in for some time now. We started as an idea from one of our club members, Mike Phillips, uh, and we've pushed it and we managed to get four cameras above the rinks, which enable spectators and players to see exactly what's happening at the far end of the rink. If you look down the rink at the moment, you won't be able to see who's lying shot, but with the overhead camera looking directly over the top of it, it'll show you exactly who's, who's lying shot, and it should fetch in uh, better quality bowlers maybe want to know how things work around here, maybe better get better tournaments as well, which is the idea, as well as raising um, our own membership, because bowling isn't a sport for just the elderly, it's a sport for everybody. Um, and, and innovations like this make bowl sexy, if you like, and it's good, for, it's good to get kids in as well if we can do that. The system cost over £2,600 and was in part funded by the Eden District Council. Uh, we look um, who it's going to, you know, support, and it's good for the age, you know, the aging community that's available. Us. It's really good that we can support this initiative, and hopefully we could encourage younger members as well to join into the bowling, and perhaps by seeing these cameras and see, being able to see how people do play, they can watch it on the TV, they can see and hopefully bring in some new membership as well. But the rest of the money was provided through the commercial sponsorship of Penrith Specsavers, who say that the reasons for supporting the project are very personal. Specsavers as a whole is always looking to support local community projects and put something back into the community. So this is just an extension of that and giving something back. And the Bowls Club for us is something that um, you, you know, particularly for my, myself, it's quite close to my heart. Um, it's been very supportive um, back in Nottingham for family members, particularly my mum, that I lost my father a couple of years ago, and a friend introduced her to bowls, and before that she hadn't got any friends, it was just her and my dad really, her life revolved around that. And by being introduced to the Bowls Club, it really opened up so many friends. And, and she's become sprightly. You know, it's amazing how much um, difference I've seen in my mum that I never thought could have happened, really. As well as providing social links for the members of the elderly community, with many GP referrals suggesting individuals take up the sport, bowlers stress the physical benefits of participating. Bowlers tend to be fitter than most people of their generation. Yeah, my dad died when he was 70. People have still got people bowling here at 90 years old. When, when people play football, cricket and rugby, when they get to the ages of 40-ish, they start to lose the competitive edge because they can't keep up with the youngsters. We have people who, who come to this club and, and play in the 70s, 80s and 90s and be competitive with people 30, 40 years younger than them. So it, it is of great benefit to them, yeah, health-wise. While it remains to be seen how many new initiates will be inspired by the system, it's clear that the Eden Indoor Balls Club members have no intention of slowing down. Kieran McFadgen, that's TV.